these hormones. Balls in your face. <laughs> yes. Left cheek, right cheek, down the thick, thick. I'm not James Gordon. <laughs> Unload that clip. So I figured I'd vlog a little bit. Today has been a morning, but we are on our way to my second <laughs> Semper laser hair removal appointment. I'm so excited. I did take a clip about a week ago, so let's rewind a bit and I'll show you guys what's been going on. Hi guys. <laughs> Excuse, um, I'm having a hormonal week right now, but I did want to give a quick update. Um, I have my second laser hair removal appointments in a few, no, probably like a week or two. <laughs> and I wanted to say that I feel like more hair is growing in now, like more active follicles. So I think the reason why you have to do so many treatments is because every time you go, it deactivates 10% of the hair follicle, but like your hair is constantly growing every day, especially mine. So like I did shave yesterday and now I have to shave again. And because my hair rate, because the rate of growth is so slow and the hair is so fine right now, I don't have to like lather up and use a cleanser or anything. So I just dry shave. Once again, don't do what I do. I'm not saying you have to follow me. Please don't. <laughs> shave whichever way you find to work best for your skin. But yeah, I think because I've only had one treatment, like two weeks ago, I was having like four hairs. Now I'm having like maybe five on each side. So I think that's why you have to go so many times is because the results, they work quickly and they are effective. But as new hair grows, you have to kill it from the active follicle again, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing more hair growth now, but it has been more time since my first treatment. So just wanted to update you guys on how this is going. Once again, <sighs> these hormones, but here we are. So yeah, I just wanted to check in. That's what's going on with my laser hair removal. I am seeing improvements. Also, thank you all so much for uh, providing your feedback and experience and well wishes and support and everything on the last video. I will be doing these updates every other month, but you guys will be seeing this in January or February because you will get to come with me next month in real time during vlogmas but yeah i am still optimistic about laser hair removal i know some people have told me that it's worked for them some people have told me that it hasn't and so that's why i wanted my first area to be small so that i can kind of see if i want to do the rest of my body but so far i'm really really enjoying it so yeah come with me to my second appointment we also have a special guest in today's segment, I'm going to lunch with one of you guys' faves. I can't wait to get rid of this hair. Ooh, I, I just don't like having to shave every day, and so this is a lot. Also, if you have no clue what I'm even talking about, if you didn't see the first laser hair removal vlog, I will link that down below in the cards, wherever that is. I'm early. So I'm gonna go respond to comments and such. Y'all, I can't wait to get this beard off. It's so itchy. Come on, son. Does my face look uh, gold? I used this K-Skin sunscreen today and I feel like I look golden. Your girl likes to be mad. <laughs> like it actually has gold shimmer in it. Everybody said it was amazing though. I'm just not into like highlighter like that. I love this place. Be right with you. Okay, perfect. Hello. Thank you. You can hang your bag. Okay. 
how are you? Great, how about you? I'm well. So, how did everything go after your last visit? It went so well. Okay. I had hair growth until like a week out. Mm -hmm. And then I had like four hairs and I was so excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta, it's one of those things that is really scary. Yeah. You just gotta trust the process. Yeah. I know it's like a new process, but you just gotta trust it. And it can be a little, you know, new and scary. Yeah. So I was like, let me just hang in her. I'm glad you did. Yeah, so it's going great already. Excellent. How is it vlogging? Because <laughs> I just went out with my friend for her birthday, right? Uh -huh. And we were supposed to do like a little mini vlog reel mm -hmm. type thing, 30 second video. Mm -hmm. None of us picked up the camera. No. So how do you? Okay, so <laughs> the key is you literally have to sit down and map out what you want to do. Because once you're out and about, it's so hard to to try to enjoy yourself and think, let me take a video. Yeah. So like, for this vlog, <laughs> I wrote out all the things I wanted to capture so that when I'm out, I'm not like distracted and forget. Got so it. you really have to be like so organized, I guess. Organized and intentional, yeah, I guess intentional. you can say. I always tell people it's harder than they think. When they start doing it, they realize, oh, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of work. <laughs> it is work. Especially like when vlogging and things like that was new. Mm -hmm. People were like, oh, we just said that uh, you're not doing anything. No, like, yeah. you know how hard it is just so to I, think about? I just laugh, say, okay, well, you pick up a camera, right. make an interesting vlog, edit it, teach yourself how to edit, and then try the to part. get, right, and then try to get people to watch you. Exactly. <laughs> oh, let me get my phone. Well, you ever go. Mm -hmm. And my son, he walks by, he sees the camera, and he's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, I'm recording, I'm talking to you. He's like, can you hear you? Yeah, it's a lot of that at the beginning. Yeah. It feels very weird. I always tell people to go for it though, because you never know like who's gonna watch you and enjoy whatever you have to share. Yeah. There's like, always an audience out there. I've been doing a little bit on TikTok mm -hmm. and like this company is coming. I was like, oh, really? Did you need me? <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Um, any new medications, changes in your medical history? No. Um, I do have. Um, I use a new sunscreen, so it's glowing. So I do have some, like. Okay. So I like it. Like okay. Did you bring it with you? Yeah. The I have it in the car. Okay. Oh yeah. no! Are you wiping off the? Yeah, I can put it back on. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> fine. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's it feel today? Fine. Okay, on a scale of one to five. Um, two? Two, good. Well, that was like a three. Okay. So I keep it this, the same. I kind of know, mm -hmm. but it changes, you know, depending on where I am on the face. Mm -hmm. And it's like six weeks went by so fast. I know. I feel like I just saw you yesterday. I know. Yesterday. It's weird. Some of them I feel it more. Mm -hmm. You'll feel it more where the hair is a little bit more coarse. Oh. And then also where there's um, more pigmentation. And then also transforming. But yeah, that's typically why you'll feel better. Yeah, but it's not painful at all. Nothing. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> and then they try to get their result. Mm -hmm. They're like, you're oh, like, I love like this. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. I can do this. <laughs> it's totally doable. Yeah. Yeah, when I was only growing four hairs, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Now I see why people do this. Mm hmm. It does. And I'm glad you were able to get some sort of result, mm -hmm. well, which I kind of knew. Right. But some people, if, they're, um, if their growth is a little bit more stubborn, sometimes mm -hmm. it takes like an additional time, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes the two or sometimes the three, but when we can really get you to see something on your very first time, yeah. it keeps you like committed. So. Yeah, so I, I 
was satisfied. After that week, I was like, oh, this is really nice. Yes, <laughs> yes. thank you so much. You want to fill out your sheet? Okay. And sign it. Yeah, let's make oh, a new sweet. change. Well, look, I love all the new changes. Shout out to you. Guys. Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, and let me take a picture of your chin. See, I get so the clock, but I always remember. <laughs> Tilt back for me. Please focus. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And All so, done? Um, yes, yeah, you're, you're done. done. Okay, I'm told as soon as I get in the car to put that sunscreen on. Y'all, I love them so much. They are so kind. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Y'all hear my stomach growling? Okay. When you have that last bit of lotion. This is my current favorite sunscreen. And it's super necessary if you ever do laser hair removal to wear your sunscreen right after. Y'all, my appointment was at 11.15. I got out at 11.20. You can do this on your lunch break. <laughs> they are so, so kind. I love them so much, y'all. If you're interested in laser hair removal, definitely try Simper Laser Hair Removal. They are located in like, in Buckhead, but like right on the edge of Midtown on Peachtree Street. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> Tis the season. Grande sugar cookie latte, please. Actually, all of our sugar cookies. Oh I'm no! Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, whatever you would recommend. That's a holiday drink. We got the caramel brulee, chestnut praline, peppermint mocha. I'm gonna go with you on the peppermint mocha. Okay. And can I also get a blueberry stone? Can I get it with oat milk? Thank you. Are you lactose intolerant? No. Okay. It also has chocolate pearls on the top that have berry in it. That's okay. okay. I just don't prefer. I just want to make sure. Yeah, thank uh, you though. Okay. I'm trying my first ever scone, you guys. I'm not sure why I've never had one, but I have it. Some crisps, you know, all the yummy things. 
Then I'm trying this cow lemonade. Let's First of all, no place this healthy should have a lemonade this delicious. It just feels blasphemous, but I feel sorry for those of you who told me they don't have kava in your city. Thank you. Let's pray on the camera. Hey, Drake, are you gonna? <laughs> I'm in New York, you're in Long Island. <laughs> okay, Drake, I'm gonna run us over. <laughs> he did, Drake. <laughs> well, guys, lunch was tasty. My date is beautiful. <sighs> Thank you. Um, Yeah, see you guys in the next laser hair removal update. Bye. Bye. So session three was during Vlogmas. I'll link that vlog down below if you'd like to see a more in-depth experience, but it went really well. We discussed a mild case of a burn that I had due to increasing the intensity in my last session, which you guys just saw. So my skin was dry and itchy for about a week, but it didn't flake. I just treated the area with lots of hydration and then it was back to normal. Post-treatment, my hair grew for almost a week, then it stopped. And I didn't see a regrowth again until about two weeks before the appointment that we are going to now. How cute is my mug, guys? She's legit my favorite. Happy Wednesday. Today is February 1st. Happy Black History Month. Wow. Wow. It's February. Okay. <laughs> I actually fell asleep with my watch on last night too. So I need to go charge that and get my life together. <laughs> but we're getting laser hair removal today. This is going to be my third, I believe, treatment. And I just want to give you guys an update. So let's go. I'm just finishing the rest of my skincare. That body lotion that I just shared, y'all need it. Shout out to Coco McQueen. When she says something is good, like I need y'all to treat Coco McQueen how y'all treat me. Like when I say something is good, my girls go try it. That's how it is with the good girl Coco McQueen. I love all of her suggestions. That lotion is so good. I have never liked an EOS product. I've also never really been into scented lotions, so I'm excited to get into that. Y'all need it. Pick it up at Target, I'll link it down below. It's so bomb. I wanted to give you guys a little update. So I'm gonna insert some pictures on the screen of what my chin looks like now. If this area looks dark, those are little hairs. <laughs> I have about 20 hairs right here that are long enough for me to pinch them away from my skin. My um, specialist i don't know what to call her she instructed me to not shave right before my appointment so that she can accurately see where my hair is still growing so on my left side i have probably like seven to ten very sparse hairs in the middle i'm growing nothing i have one long hair here one long hair here but this is the area where i have about 20 very long thick hairs and i would say that the right side of my chin always had a bit more hair growth as this is is my third appointment I am seeing a reduction I don't know I know a lot of people say like laser hair removal didn't work for them especially african-american women or men definitely make sure you are going to a specialist that uses the right type of laser I will put it across the screen I believe it's like a why something I don't want to misspeak <laughs> so I'll put it across the screen but this has worked great for me and I have hormonally related hair growth so you know of course this is just my experience but I've been very 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 satisfied. Sense of the day. 
Parfum de Marley Meliora. So beautiful. This scent is just like super, super feminine. Very underrated, very beautiful, very nostalgic. We're gonna hit our wrist. It's always so funny when people see my videos and they're like, you have tattoos. Yes, I have quite a few tattoos. Let's take a chance and spread my wings. I need my windows tinted because I'm tired of everybody like coming into my car karaoke. Like I'm not James Gordon. This is not for the public. It's for y'all and me. <laughs> we don't, I don't need an audience. Honestly. Y'all, I'm so excited. I can't wait to be hair free. <sighs> but I'm trying to be a good, obedient patient and do what I was told. But my goodness, I feel like a pubescent man. <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot. Y'all know we're back to this mask. Y'all remember my Keiko Beauty mask? Hold on. Y'all look a little blurry. I'm just trying to be safe. So on one side, it's very, very fine. But on the other side, where the hair tended to be more coarse, it's still coarse. But it grows in at first sparse and fine. Okay. I feel like closer we get to treatment time, it gets a little thicker. I don't know if that's possible, okay, that but yeah. Your very first appointment, we would say you have 100% in here. Um, how much hair would you say you have left percentage-wise? Maybe 35% of a reduction or less? 35% left. Okay. Oh, I know. I know. My, my big camera is at home. But I was like, y'all are still going to get a vlog, so. Like, no excuses. No excuses. Balls on your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what number would you give that? I think three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, still not bad though. We did it! Oh, I'm supposed to get my picture of me capturing this content outside while everybody's looking at me. But this is what I tell y'all. You have to get your content. Even if you don't have your big camera, even if you don't have on makeup, even if people are looking at you, get your content unload that clip i always tell people this because i feel like so many people capture content and they're afraid to put it out or they're hesitant just do it we want to see it we are smooth this is my favorite sunscreen currently and make sure if you get laser hair removal to apply sunscreen because the laser is very damaging to your skin and you want to make sure you're not reversing any of the effects You enjoying yourself, Chloe? 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 You enjoying yourself? You using your hands to bite your bone? 
Hey guys, today is February 9th. Just coming in to give you like a one plus week update. So I had my laser hair removal almost a week and a half ago. I don't know if you can see, I have a little bit of hair growth. I did um, pluck two hairs. You're not supposed to, look, these vlogs are real. So I'm being honest. I did pluck two hairs because they were very dark and they were annoying me. You're not supposed to pluck or wax, but because my hair grows so quickly, I will still have a new follicle that's active by my next uh, appointment, but I'll be shaving the rest. <laughs> no worries. Look, do as I say, not as I do. I know, I know, I know but I'm being honest, I did pluck two hairs. On this side, I barely have any hair growth, but like you guys saw, I just tend to have more hair growth on this side and I do have a clean skin club pimple patch. So I didn't get any burning irritation, no adverse side effects this time. I'm so glad about that. Everything's going well. I'm really, really happy with the treatment. I can't wait to share my next update with you. I think I finally got to a point in my treatment where my skin is really used to the laser. I think visit three I had that was during vlogmas. That was just because that was the first big jump. But now my skin adjusts pretty, pretty well. That's my update. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave any comments or questions down below. Don't forget Semper Laser is in a bunch of states across the US so I would definitely check them out especially if you have a deeper skin tone because they do have lasers that work for us. Love you guys so much and I will see you in the next laser hair removal update. Bye!